What's going on guys, it's Will with the Abyss Army, coming at you guys with another video for this week, going over the NFL Week 13 prize pick slate. So, got five picks for this video. I would say it's a bit weaker um, of a board to work with, uh, just looking at a fancy score. We only have one game to work with, and there are no pa or any yard combo uh, projections to go with, so just you know, still trying to give you guys some good picks here um weekly friday video so we're going to be going with the first one uh with the thumbnail it's going to be jamar gibbs and sam laporta more than 0.5 touchdowns so detroit looking at the odds here um detroit lions they are projected to score or go over 2.5 touchdowns minus 190 which basically you're saying that they can score three touchdowns in this game. And if you think about who they're going to go with, obviously Montgomery, they could get one on the ground. Goff is not a rushing threat. Um, Amon Ra's there. So that third touchdown, it could very well be Gibbs, or maybe even Gibbs gets that rushing touchdown instead of Monty, right? There's just a lot of uh, possibilities here. And it is a very nice 47 uh, game total. And the Lions are favored by four on the road. Jared Goff has known to kind of have some struggles with the, uh, or playing away just because he's, it's like he has trouble when they have to play outside with weather, uh, cold weather or something. But New Orleans, they play in a dome as well. So that's going to be, uh, helpful, of course, to this offense. And looking at individual odds for DraftKings, Gibbs is currently a plus 100. Pinnacle has plus 147. But they are by far the lowest odds for Gibbs of, out of all the books. And then Laporta is a plus 175 on DraftKings and a plus 237 on Pinnacle. So much worse on Pinnacle uh, again with these lines. Um, not sure what exactly is going on. But just thinking about Gibbs and Laporta, their rules in this offense, strong total, projected for three touchdowns as a team. It's a pretty solid one. So... That is going to be the first one, taking the more. Um, and the next one, we're going to rushing yards, and it will be Austin Eckler. This one's going to be a less than 53.5. The Chargers are favored in this game, and usually you know, I like to kind of build out a script with the, the Vegas lines. Now, the Chargers, they are 5.5 road favorites. So when you're a favorited running back, usually it helps you. However... The Chargers offense, you know, they really just go, like, they attack through the air. And the Patriots, they are actually a pretty solid run defense this year. They've allowed the 7th least rushing yards per game. And they've actually allowed the 12th most rushing attempts to running backs. However, with those 12th most uh, attempts, they've only allowed, or they've allowed the 8th least rushing yards total to running backs. So, they are able to stop the run game and they are much weaker against the passing game and the chargers that plays into the game plan to be honest they're still going to be without mike williams for the year um josh palmer as well but keenan allen's going to be there um quinn johnston gerald everett parham so they want to throw the ball and the patriots defense basically is a they're not exactly i don't call them the pass funnel like some of the other teams but they are just weaker against the pass so it plays right into justin herbert what the Chargers want to do and austin eckler this season he really hasn't been great on the ground he's an excellent pass catcher for a running back but he it's just like he's lost his burst or something maybe he's just aging but he hasn't looked great running the ball so this line currently on uh, dk right here it is 51.5, and the, it's actually favored on the under. So this line could move down even more. Um, just kind of, uh, Eckler hasn't looked great. Um, the game script, it kind of favors him, but also it, the Chargers will throw the ball a ton. And so I'm just kind of siding with the odds here and also the strengths and weaknesses of both of these teams. So less than 53.5 for Eckler. And we're going to go back to the touchdown category again here with Pittman and Hopkins. This one will also be a more for this one. So 
It is a 42.5 spread for this game, and the Colts are favored by one on the one point on the road. Both of these guys are their respective team's number one receivers. Now, the Colts are going to be without Jonathan Taylor, which it could help here because Zach Moss, uh, they can't exactly just pound the ball with these two running backs because Taylor's out. Uh, Moss, I expect him to still get his touches, but we could see them maybe like call a passing play when they're in the goal line instead of a run to Taylor. So that slightly helps. You can't really project that out, but um, just something that definitely helps when you're taking a more on a, a receiver to hopefully get that touchdown. And Tennessee, this defense, they are, I think you can call them a pass ball. They basically sell it to stop the run. They want you to beat them through the air. And Michael Pittman is exactly the guy that can beat you. So this is uh, not a bad spot for Pittman at all. It's, it's To be honest, it's one of the better spots for any receiver this week. Uh, but it just comes down to touchdowns, right, for this one. So that's where kind of the volatility comes in. But his odds are pretty good at plus 160. On Pinnacle, they actually have him even better at plus 149. For DeAndre Hopkins, the Colts, they are not a great defense either. They're not exactly a funnel defense, but still, both of these pass defenses are not great. DeAndre Hopkins, he is a plus 170 on DraftKings and a plus 209 on Pinnacle. So combine these two players, their odds are not bad either. And also just makes sense for um, the players they are, also the kind of uh, game script that should uh, go. The f uh, what are we on? Or uh, our fourth play is going to be Kyler Murray. Taking the more on 0.5 interceptions, this is a minus 125 only. So if you're into playing straight off the odds, more of a book play. But I think this one could move. Um, the Steelers, they are a, they've been a good defense, um, especially at home. Uh, it's more so just their offense has been really struggling. Sometimes when that happens, you put your defense in a bad spot because of the field position that you're giving up. For the Cardinals here, they are 6.5 road dogs, and that is a good game script for this um, line because if you're going to be down uh, a touchdown, you're going to be throwing the ball most likely, especially in that second half, and you're going to have to take shots. And when you do that, then you might you know, force something that you shouldn't, and you can't play conservative. So then Kyler Murray, um, as a QB, you're more to be interception prone. And already Michael Wilson has been ruled out, who we don't think of him as like a game changer, but he's a young rookie, a solid rookie receiver. And then Marquise Brown, who is their alpha guy, he is currently questionable. And even if he's in, you got Joey Porter, who has been solid this year in uh, locking down opposing receivers. And this Steelers defense as a whole, they have, uh, they are tied for the fifth most interceptions. So not bad at all um and yeah just the Cardinals they're they have Kyler back um they have James Conner back but this game um their defense not as great as the Steelers and they're going to be on the road the, the spread basically indicates that they're going to have to throw the ball and that is going to be good for uh interception over and then the last one we're going to go to touchdowns again here which I don't love giving out so many where this is going to be a third one for the video but this one I mean Cooper Cup and George Kittle for a touchdown. Usually we see Cooper Cup have his individual one. You don't get someone like George Kittle here. Uh, so this one, Cup has had a down year, but he's also been dealing with injuries. So I think this could kind of be like a buy low spot. And then you're getting George Kittle, which uh, this is a good spot for him. So it kind of makes up for it. It's just crazy to see these two guys together, to be honest. Cooper Cup is in a tough spot against the Cleveland Browns, who have one of the better defenses. They've allowed um, very few touchdowns this season to opposing receivers. But Cooper Cup, his odds are not terrible at all. DraftKings has him at plus 135. Pinnacle does not have any odds up yet. And then George Kittle is a plus 160 on DraftKings and a plus 146 on Pinnacle. So even better there. And just Cooper Cup... Um, we know he has elite chemistry with Matt Stafford and Cooper Cup with all of his injuries he still was able to play over 80% of the snaps last week and this could be 
a spot where maybe Stafford walks onto him and tries to force him the ball. Yes, it's not a great match against the Browns, but the Rams are going to be playing at home, and it could be a spot where Stafford just says, hey, you know, we've got to get you going. You're the best guy on our team, and they just look to cup, especially in the end zone, to get him that touchdown, which I think that's totally logical. And then for the Rams, they are over 2.5 total touchdowns of the team. That is plus 100. So it's not even crazy to see them score three touchdowns according to the odds. And then for the 49ers, over 2.5 touchdowns is a minus 180. So they are they are heavily favored to score at least three touchdowns. And Kittle, he is a he is one of the better end zone threats. Of course, CMC. We kind of think that he's going to get one, and then they have Debo and Ayuk. This is a very talented San Fran team, but tight ends against the Eagles. This is um, notable. They've allowed, they've, well, they're tied for allowing the most touchdowns to tight ends this year. And George Kittle, he's one of the better tight ends um, in all of football. So this one, it's just kind of a, you go with the talent here and the odds also do back it up. So this is going to be the fifth one for this video. So five picks, Gibbs and Laporta, touchdown, Pittman, Hopkins, touchdown, Cup, Kittle, touchdown, and then Austin Eckler under 43.5 rushing yards, Kyler Murray more than 0.5 interceptions, going to be the five plays, three touchdown combo projections, and then the rushing yards and interception line. So those are going to be the five for week 13 of NFL. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like before you go. Hopefully we hit this 554A10X and I will see you in the next video. Bye.